Hello you guys and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. <laughs> I'm Miles um, with Game Espresso and uh, today uh, I'm by myself again. Um, I'm currently in the process of leveling my bard. It's at level 44. Um, and I thought it would be a fine time to show you um, any of the dungeons that are available to me in the low level roulette. So um, I'm going to queue up and what the low level roulette does is it gives you um, one of these dungeons you see here. Um, the only one that I won't have access to is or the Orm Vale, um, which is at 47. But we'll see which one I get into. and. I'll tell you about it. If um, I get into Sestasha, then I'll just cut the video and um, probably try it again to get another one for um, <coughs> you guys since I already did a video on Sestasha with Tank. Um, but yeah, uh, this queue is probably going to take a while. Uh, not sure why that says nine minutes, but I hope it's nine minutes. But, um, I'm gonna cut out <coughs> this wait time. I'll see you guys on the other end. Alright, <coughs> we finally got into a dungeon. Uh, welcome back. Well, I mean, there's no time. There's no downtime for you guys. But, okay, so this dungeon is the Sunken Temple of Karn. Um, I don't remember. This is a level 35 dungeon. It is an extra dungeon, actually. Um, you won't unlock this dungeon through the main story quests. Uh, you'll unlock it through side quests. And, um, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of considered, like, um, I guess one of the dungeons where mechanics actually like start to matter just a little bit. Um, it's nothing too complicated for any of you that have uh, actually um, played uh, any MMO with like you know like boss mechanics that are essential to defeating the boss. Um, but uh what's it called like for a lot of new players um especially a lot of new players that actually don't know the boss fight and like what to do or aren't like on the ball about like what you know this boss fight reminds me of something else in like some other mmo um i've seen like groups that just have no knowledge uh wipe actually it was pretty painful um, my first few times in here because um, there were the uh, <coughs> there there were all new people with me and um, none of us knew what was going on. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like everyone here, except for maybe the monk, has done it before. No, it looks like everyone's done it before. So we shouldn't have a problem. I'll explain to you why it's so hard. pretty simple we need those uh, those slabs that you just saw that one guy pick up to uh, um, progress into certain rooms in the sun yeah, 
adds or anything. Pretty simple. The only add in this in this dungeon that poses like much of a threat are those temple bees over there. Um they have this skill that kinda works like a bomb to self-destruct. Where if it gets too low or if it's like I, I don't remember if it gets too low or if it's like alive for a certain amount if it's in combat for a certain amount of time. It uses a move called Final Sting. Which uh it kills it. It kill it kills the bee. Because I mean the bee, you know, when bees sting, they uh <laughs> they die. Because they lose their stingers. Um but uh it does a crap ton of damage to the tank. And um I've never really seen it kill um, a paladin before, but I have seen it kill um, warriors and if it targets a DPS with the sting. Oh, you see that? Just chunked him for a way a ton of health. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, as long as the paladin is nice and healed up. Um, should have enough damage mitigation to not die. That would have killed me though. He only had like 200 health left and he got 800 more health than me. Oh, he had 600. No, uh, I. No, I still would have died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're zooming through this. Oh yeah, so um, I guess this is the first time I've played Bard um, in a video, and um, Bard is a pretty interesting uh, DPS class. Um, well, not not as interesting as uh, I guess like any of the combo-based ones. Like Monkey is actually pretty interesting um, on its free-flowing combos, but I don't I don't really enjoy Monk all that much. Will probably be a le last deep death I love him. Uh, but I'll tell you more about Bard after. So, uh, this is the first boss that um, a lot of people have trouble getting past. And it's just because they don't know about the Doom mechanic. And that, or they don't deal with the bees. Like, whenever bees spawn, you have to kill them. Because, especially here, um, because their final sting goes off uh, more quickly. Um, but they're squishier, so you can deal with the bees pretty easily. It's just that, um, yeah, you don't want them to stick around. Because the bee damage combined with the boss damage is pretty much too much for, um, anyone to handle. Um, but it also, like, at a certain point, it casts a room wide doom, yeah, you see that mortal ray. And you gotta go and cleanse it by standing on the panel that's lit up. Um, pretty intuitive, um, but you know, sometimes players just don't know like uh, what this doom thing is. They think they can cleanse it with an Essena kind of thing. They end up dying. But yeah, the, the lit up panel rotates. And you just gotta make sure that it's in on it whenever you cast more of it. Knowledge is power. Oh. Yeah, a lot of times people also like <laughs> think they cleanse it because they go to stand on the one and then it shifts. Or 
They're standing on the other side of the room when he casts um, the Doom. And then they run to uh, the panel, and then the panel ends up shifting to the other side of the room. So like throws them and it's like, nope, no cleanse for you, and then they end up dying. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, if done right, that boss is no problem. Level 35, Ethereal Linen Shirt. Oh, the only reason it says that is because I'm level 10. I was like, my gear is better than that. I'm just passing up the monk power you want to get. Yep. Have fun, monkey. Monkey, monkey. Okay, so Archer. Uh, we got a, we got a few skills here, um, most of the DPS is straightforward, there aren't very many combos, um, heavy shot is like your main attack that you keep like, using, over and over and over, um, it's got this damage skill called blood letter that's not on the global cooldown, so you just use that whenever it's up. And you can cast it at the same time that any of the other global cooldown skills are being cast. So you literally just use it whenever it's on. Um, straight shot is a buff. Um, that when you use it, it buffs your critical damage. But um, at certain points, you'll get, uh, like, after every attack, there's a chance of you getting straighter shot. Which guarantees a crit on... Um, the next straight shot that you use. So yeah. Oh, by the way, we're killing these heads oddly because they need to die on those platforms in order to open doors. That one didn't die on platforms. Um, but then the other skills for Bard are like dots, so you put them on and then just forget about them. And then buffs. Like, Bard actually has a lot of access to a lot of buffs that up its damage. Um, and it's got some stuff. Um, it's got a one second silence, which, um, yeah, you don't think, you, like, you think, and it's like, oh, one second isn't that long. But, um, people use it as, like, an interrupt. Just for that one thing. Um, and then, what else? Oh yeah, and then when you hit level 30, that's when you actually become a bard, instead of just an archer. And bards have these songs that um, make it kind of like a, su a supporty DPS. Like, they can um, really help a, uh, a team recover something that they need. So there's a Mage's Ballad, which restores MP. Um, when the bard is singing Mage's Ballad, um, they lose 20% of their damage, their personal damage, but they, uh, you know, restore MP for all party members that are within range. Um, so it's really useful, especially for, like, you know, healers that end up, like, using up too much mana on revives and raids and stuff, or, you know, just keeping, keeping mana up for, um, like tanks to like spam flash and dungeons and stuff if you want to watch them faster. Um, but yeah, you just gotta remember that it, it uh, reduces your damage. Same thing goes for Army's Paeon. Um, it's like the TP version of the MP song, Major Thousand. Um, yeah, that, that restores technical points, which is like good if uh, your melee DPS comes out with TP. Um, and then, uh, let's see, oh, and then there's, uh, Foe's Requiem, which is, uh, a 10% reduction of all enemies in range, uh, their defenses, their magic defenses, and their, uh, and their, uh, armor, so you can you can uh, deal more damage to them. And ba are, uh, bards are 
uh, highly regarded in DPS checks um, because of that, like, in, in high level raids and stuff. Alright, so this boss is really annoying. It's not very hard, <laughs> but it's really annoying. So, um, first you have to attack and shatter the golden soul stone. And then when that's shattered, um, you attack the temple guardian, which is the actual boss. Um, but once you shatter the soul stone, the typical aggro table goes away and he just attacks whatever he wants. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I had to heal this fight once, and I just, I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of, uh, of, uh, healing in general. Um, sometimes I find it a little hard to, like, target people kind of the same way. But, uh, yeah. Okay. See, then he gets back up and he got target the soul stone again. But this time he has no aggro. He's just like, I'm gonna kill whatever I want. He's targeting me now. Wow. Okay, I just got slammed. Another really nice thing about bards is they don't have to stand still for uh, spell cast time, um, like any of the like the other ranged DPS. Um, so, like Black Mage, White Mage, um, Summoner, and Scholar, they all have uh, cast times on their spells, and if they can't move in that time, but Archer or B Bard can uh, move around and. 
all of their attack spells, their their instant. So yeah, I can just move around like that. It doesn't matter. Run is going uh, pretty smoothly. Thanks, Holy Fuck. Thank you. Bards have an execute. Um, if the target's under 20% health, you can use uh, Misery's End, which is a high potency attack um, for the single target under 20%. So, yeah, uh, the stone pedestals, um, if you put the correct. Uh, thingy the correct uh so we picked up those stone tablets earlier you put the correct stone tablet in the pedestals that open these uh treasure rooms but they're not like they're like crafting stuff and not stuff people usually open the rooms for um yeah i'm only doing this for the experience but um you guys ever, you know, need stuff from those rooms to go open them yourself. <clears throat> we do need two of uh, the uh, tablets though to open the room for the boss. I'm pretty sure it's the flame one and the fruit one, the great one. Falling Mark. Making my life. Oh, are the GPS disconnected?
Ah, uh, so slow now that we're down to DPS. Okay, the person's back. At least. That's good. I don't want to have to solo DPS this far. I mean, it's not like this next boss is hard. But, um... Again, it's kind of annoying. It just spawns, like, a lot of stuff that shoots lasers at you. <laughs> so, like, the longer it goes on, just the more lasers there are. I mean, you can kill the, you can kill the thingies to stop them from shooting you. But it makes the fight last really long. Sorry, I just hit my mic. <clears throat> oh my god. Die. Good. Flames and fruits. All right. So yeah, you just gotta kill heads on those on one of those platforms, and then that's it. <laughs> it's like the only really me real mechanic. And then you kill the mythical verges that spawn. Some people just let them stay and like DPS the boss, especially if you have like good DPS. But. I don't like what I don't like letting them stay up, to be honest. These ones though. You have to kill these ones. Um, yeah, after a while they put up the box thing. And they make it so that people can't get in or deal damage from the outside. And then after a while they burst outwards from the inside and deal uh, room wide damage. So they have to make sure they kill those ones. Look, it's gonna be a light show, guys. Oh my god. Two few lasers. <laughs> so yeah, when there's that many, you can just end up dodging pretty easy.
kill it. Oh, it's almost dead. Yay! Uh, it's really simple. <sighs> okay. Um. So yeah. That's like what you should expect around like. I'm pretty much halfway to uh, being level 50. Like you know, around your first thing, or no, your second thing after getting your job specialization and um, becoming, uh, you know, your your job. So like this is 35. So you get your job at 30. So like like I said, this is just the second thing that you get after like becoming a bard or a dragoon or a paladin um, from your base class. Um, I'll probably show another low-level dungeon um, closer to the end of uh, closer to the end of the uh, leveling. So like maybe around 40, 44, 47 um, soon. But yeah, for now, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm Miles again with Game Espresso. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment, you know, YouTube stuff. See you guys.